As soon as you create a new app, the first thing that you'll be presented with is a menu to add a data source. Now, BuddyBase plugs into a whole load of data sources from an internal database to a SQL databases to Google Sheets and um, REST APIs. There's lots of ways that you can get data into your application and lots of places you can send data out from your application as well. Let's look at adding a SQL database. So I'm going to choose to add a Postgres database and continue. Now, the first thing I need to do is to add a host for this. I'm running my BuddyBase instance in Docker, which means I need to actually, instead of local host, which I'd do if it was all running local, I need to do um, host.docker.internal. The database I'm going to connect to is Postgres, and the user is actually me, it's Kevin. So I'll save and fetch table. So what that will do is it will reach out to the Postgres database that I've just informed it about, and it will get all of the tables, all of their shapes, and all of the current data in those tables at the moment, and it'll present them on the left-hand side. So you can see I've got this Postgres database, it has an appointments table, we see some data in there, it's got an owner's table, some data in here, and it's got a pets table. Now, as I create data inside of my BuddyBase application, either by manually coming in and pressing create row or create column, that will be kept in sync with my database. If my database is updated separately from my application, either by updating table shape or adding a whole load of data, one of the things I can do is from this menu is to click the fetch tables, which will refetch those tables and make sure the buddy basis understanding of that database matches reality. We've got a list of the tables with their primary keys listed. And we also have the ability to be able to define relationships. So if I define a relationship here, I'll do a one-to-one -one relationship between pets and owners. And I need to have a field that is going to act as a foreign key. And so one of the conventions is well, I'd create an integer field, fk underscore pets, the foreign key to the pets from the owners. So I'll save that. That relationship is here. And now when I click on owners, I can see that um, I've got foreign key one and two. And what's being displayed over here is a date. And if I go to pets, in the owners table, I'm getting one and two. Again, not particularly helpful. So what I can do is I look along here and say, actually, I don't want the date of birth, which is the first field listed as the display field. So I'll click the little pencil and I'll make this table be our display column. So if I go back to my owners now, the pets are listed by their names. And equally, I want the owners not to be identified by their ID, but to be identified by their names. So I'll set the pencil, set that to use table as display column, and I'll go back to pets and we'll see that it's the users that are listed over there. As we create new rows and pets, we can see, oh, we've got a date of birth for the pet um, sometime last year. We've got its name, maybe it's baby, um, maybe it's a goldfish or fish, and maybe it's like an angel fish. I don't, know if that's, I don't think it's a breed of fish, but anyway. And then we can select an owner. It can be, um, let's make it be John. And we will create a row. So now John owns that fish. And if we go back over here, John has a pet called Baby. So if I create a new relationship between many relationship, between appointments and owners through an appointments and owners table. Um, and then that table needs to have some way to identify appointments. So I've got this appointment and some way to identify owners. So I've got that as owner and then we'll hit save. So now in this appointments table, I've got this owners. If I edit this, I can say, oh, um, I'm going to have John, who's going to be for that appointment. And when it gets edited, it goes to the end of the database. So I can see it's over here. John's there. And if I go back to the owners over here, I can see John has an appointment. And this time, the date is the appropriate field to display there. So John has an appointment at that particular date, and it's going to be for baby. So we can manage lots of relationships between our data. We can add them. In, through here, but because BuddyBase is plugging into our data, it's not going to automatically create those foreign key columns. You need to create those yourself before you do it.